institute is our sister oh. institute that is chemical indian institute of chemical biology so today what i will discuss functional coating market first what what is the market of this area of research or product and elements of functional coatings and nano composites for the beginners only and also i will show some research results and products that is the coatings for strategic application coatings for energy application coatings for medical application with this now uh, the global functional markets that's uh, if i if we considered in 2022 it was 491 billion us dollar now projected to double nearly double 822.93 billion dollar in 2032 that means if we, if we see the the gradual increase global market is gradually increasing that functional coatings is various types i will discuss what is the functional materials what types of the, these are and how it is spreading all over the globe for these versatile applications now if we see the according to various regions in the global overview that is asia specific europe middle east latin america north america uh, all over globe it is spreading now what is coatings or thin films if we consider coatings or thin films we can see that on a concrete wall there is also coating in, on the uh, uh, wall of the that is uh, the outside of the car there is also coating but coatings and thin films for this research purpose or for precision application it is a thin layer on an object popularly known as substrate and this coatings can changes the properties of the substrate of an object without changing the bulk material that is the substrate this is the beauty of coating and this coating due to this changing of the properties possesses it it can be used for versatile application starting from day to day life to precision electronics optoelectrical applications now for functional coatings mostly depends upon two interfaces one interface is the air to the film interface and another interface that resides between the film and the substrate that is two these two interfaces two interfaces are most important and other places also has their their own property the first interface is due to uh, uh, that uh, also responsible for right reflection light transmission scratch resistance and uh, 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 repellent water repellent that is hydrophilic or hydrophobic that I will, I will discuss today and bulk film that bulk that, that is changing from things, uh, mono mono Uh, uh, nanometer metric range to several micrometer also depends upon chemical resistance weather resistance that will little bit discussed today and i will show some product development and then this interface which is resides between the substrate and the film basically adherence of the film or coating onto its surface that is the adhesion durability anti corrosion and so on and uh, this functional coatings is several types and these are divided depending upon the properties that is optical properties mostly photoluminescent coating anti reflective coating high reflection wave guiding light trapping coating these are basically required for solar cell application and with thermal properties that is low emissivity coating which is very much required for the countries like us tropical countries where in the winter season the heat is too much and use of electricity due to air condition is huge therefore this a uh, low emissivity coating is very much required for making the windows this, that is it is useful for window purpose and various big companies like sen gobin world they are doing the same by de depositing tin oxide coating it is a conducting coating transparent coating popular no as transparent oxide coating and these coatings has low emissivity and can reflect the heat outside the window and save the electricity and uh, with physico chemical properties hydrophilic or hydrophobic coating is most well known and also other properties that depends upon the structural mechanical properties electrical magnetic properties and hygienic properties that is antibacterial antimicrobial properties with this i will again go for a few moments what is nano composites nano composites a material where 
several components are there, but one or more components are within the nano dimension, that is 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer. And depending upon the bonding between the components, it can be categorized as class 1 and class 2. In class 1 nanocomposite material, there is the only adherence that is Van der Waals force, electrostatic force of attraction is there, so that the component can be easily isolated. And these nanocomposites has very low applications. But in the case of class 2 nanocomposites, there is an inter, in, uh, yeah, covalent bond or co-ordinate bond between the components and this is very much useful. What I am going to show the results, show the products, that is only depends upon the class 2 nanocomposite materials. As we know, with downsizing the material size, the surface energy is increasing huge and this is the beauty of the nanocomposites which can be, which can show the you know, among versatile properties for different applications. Now, these thin films or coatings can be deposited by physical vapor deposition, chemical vapor deposition, and also one of the most versatile processes is the sol gel processing, utilizing the sol or solution stage. <laughs> now, in my today's talk, I will cover the coatings, that is hydrophilic and hydrophobic coatings with anti-reflection property for gamma ray protection and environmental protection which has been applied for radiation shielding window glass popularly known as RSW glass. It is very much used in our nuclear hot cells of our country for energy generation or photo radio isotope generation. And secondly, I will show some results and products on super hydrophobic anti-reflective coating on potassium dihydrogen phosphate uh, uh, optics which is useful for fabricating neodymium phosphate laser uh, in the first half that laser uh, one of our invited speaker already uh, spoke about the lasers and that laser can be fabricated by using this coated product or uh, coated optics of KDP crystals and anti-reflection coating on quartz glass and it is also one of the component to fabricate the lasers and reflection coating on uh, neodymium phosphate glass to enhance the lasing power efficiency of laser and high reflection coating is also required to fabricate the neodymium phosphate laser glass or helium neon laser. And now when the light waves passing through exactly out of phase at 180 degree, then the destructive interference their amplitude is cancelled. That means zero reflection. And that zero reflection induces the transmission and which is popularly known as anti-reflection without any um, originating any color. This phenomenon can be, uh, uh, can be uh, fabricated. This phenomenon can be uh, with the association or with the help of this phenomenon we can fabricate the anti-reflection coating. And these are more details. That is the how to fabricate this anti-reflection coating by means of, with, with the help of uh, single layer optical design or multi-layer optical design, quarter wavelength, non-quarter wavelength optical design, we can calculate how much thickness is required to deposit over a substrate or transparent optical glass or other optical variety of materials. And also the other things which is associated the refractive index of the materials. That is refractive index and physical thickness. The multiple of refractive index and physical thickness is called the optical thickness. So association of the optical thickness, we can cal calculate how much physical thickness is required, how much refractive index is required for a particular wavelength at which we can get the maximum transmission or maximum reflection. Now high reflection, the, this is the general formula that is if we deposit, if we take two types of materials, one has the high reflection, high refractive index and another is the low refractive index. Among the high refractive index, zirconia ZRO2, yttria or zirconia silica or titania is the good material or external material 
and for low index material silica it is 1.46 we can down make down to lower index by incorporating pora, porosity we will we have done and we deposited successfully for uh, making the uh, dielectric mirror which is uh, very much useful for neodymium uh, ne uh, helium neon laser fabrication at 633 nanometer now this is the overview how we make the precursor solution to deposit the coating on a substrate say glass or plastic or any sorts of material this is called sol gel process <coughs> where precursor materials like alkoxide where moc bond is present in the chemicals and low volatile liquids like ethanol isopropanol one butanol two butanol etc and also in sol gel process one can use the stabilizer to stabilize the sol in the liquid form for long time so with this we can prepare the solution for deposition of coating on any substrate now coming